What I want to talk about today is I want to just do a quick devotional about um, prayer and when God calls us to things that seem bigger than us and, and we have no idea how they're going to do, uh, how, how, we have no idea how he's going to do it or how we're going to be able to even co-labor with him and bring it about. If you have your Bibles, look in Luke 1. In Luke 1, we all know the story. God sends the angel Gabriel to Mary to give her an incredible word and incredible promise and it's about birthing Emmanuel. But at one point in Luke 1, 34, Mary asked the angel, but how can I have a baby. I am a virgin. In other words, Mary's gotten this great promise from God, this amazing, mind-blowing promise from God. And the first thing she thinks of is, how am I going to do this? How is it going to work? I don't get it. But this is what the angel Gabriel says. The angel replied, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the baby born to you will be holy and he will be called the Son of God. And what I like about this is Mary has questions. The promise doesn't make sense to her, but God's answer isn't to explain exactly, what's go exactly how it's going to work. God's answer to her is to say through the angel Gabriel, the Holy Spirit's going to overshadow you. God's going to do it. You just have to make yourself available. And I want to encourage you with that today. Any promise that you've gotten from God or anything that's stirring in you that seems way too big for you and almost too big even to believe in, any of those ones that you have the questions about how God, or if you've been believing for a while and haven't seen it come forth, and all of a sudden you've gone from great faith into a bit of fear and doubt, and you're saying, well, God, it hasn't come forth yet. How's it going to come forth? I don't see it. I don't understand it. Just remember, even Mary had those questions, and God's answer to her was, I'm going to do it. I'm going to overshadow you. It's in my strength that it's going to come forth. At the end of this passage in Luke 1, Mary's prayer is wonderful. This is what she says. This is her declarations. declaration. I am the Lord's servant, and I am willing to accept whatever he wants. Let it be unto his servant as he has spoken. And I think in the really big promises, the how is this going to ever happen, God type of promises, this needs to be our prayer, the posture of our heart, saying, Lord, I am your servant and I am open, I am willing, I am available for you to do whatever you want. Let it be unto me as you have spoken. So take that devotional as an encouragement today. Remember, the bigger the promises, the more impossible they seem, the bigger the how is this ever going to come about, the more glorious it's going to be because God's going to have to do it. All you have to do, make yourself available to the Lord, start declaring that you're His and that He can do whatever He wants, and then just come into agreement with Him and say, Lord, this big promise, may the fullness of it come forth according to your will, according to your word, and all to your glory.